What's up, YouTube? It's the Queen Honey Bee here. I have JJ's Chicken and Fish today. I went and got 10 fried wings. And you know, JJ's, like their signature seasoning is their lemon pepper seasoning. They gave me fries and like two pieces of bread too, but I don't think I'm gonna eat all that. I'm gonna say grace and then I'm gonna get it in. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this meal. I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for my channel. I thank you for my supporters. I thank you for everything. I ask that you bless this food. Let it be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name, amen. So, y'all, like I said, they gave me um fries, but I don't see myself eating it. But I do have my favorite hot sauce. Red Hot. Frank's Red Hot is my favorite hot sauce ever. Um, and I'm one of the people that like drown their chicken in hot sauce. It just it's just perfect like that for me. It's kind of hot outside too, y'all. So I got some water, Fiji water. Got to stay hydrated. You look up and you can be on the floor if you're not careful. Whew. So refreshing. <clears throat> so yeah, about these wings. JJ's chicken and fish. I don't know if this is like a southern thing or an Atlanta thing or if it's everywhere. Get you some chicken though. Mm. Good and crispy. And these were sitting inside the uh the box. The um little to ghost container. And styrofoam, you know, sometimes if your food hot, styrofoam can like make it sweat or whatever. And it'll get real uh, soggy like. And this is like still very crispy. Oh wow, did you see that? Slid right off of there. That's what I'm talking about. I like the fact that their wings aren't huge. Because I'm one of the people that ask for all flats when I get wings. But uh, their wings are kind of on the small side. So I don't know. It's just better. To me, anyway. Definitely one of the best places to get fried chicken. And they have different flavor wings too, but I've never even tried those because I enjoy their original or plain wing, which Is like dusted with a lemon pepper dust or like powder kind of seasoning. Dry rub? No, I don't think that'd be considered a dry rub. I don't know, but it's good. I got some fries too, but I'm after these wings. So y'all. I am working on a couple of projects right now. Um, 
my channel is still kind of new and small and i'm trying to expand my brand i do mukbangs a lot but challenges outfit of the day things like that i'm gonna be showing y'all more of i also plan on um diving off into entrepreneurship i'm telling y'all my some of my plans okay uh, I want to start a clothing line. I've been wanting to do that since like high school. Um, and honestly, there could be different lanes with this line. Right now, my vision is like kids clothes. Like a boutique. I wanted to do accessories as well. I'm working on a book. And there is this marketing seminar coming up. And I'm going to make sure that I'm there. Because I feel like there's a lot that I want to do. But I don't know how to do it. I don't know where to start. And I just feel like there's so much information out there that is available for me to learn what I'm trying to do. I just need to find out where I need to be looking for it. And I'm hoping at this conference as well that I could meet people. that are trying to do something similar or are already doing something similar and I can learn from them. Cause I feel like my dream is right there. I just, I gotta find what I need so I can get started. And I also want to be in alignment in terms of what I'm doing, who I'm doing business with, how I do it. I want my stuff to be organized. I'm pretty excited. But yeah, my book. I started my book um, last year in 2020. And I kind of set it down for a second. But I've gotten back to writing. I don't want to tell y'all too much. But it is going to be a series. So, stay tuned. a little update on what I got going on in my little world. Man. First of all, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Second of all, make sure you go grab you some chicken or a snack. Because there ain't no way I should just be crunching like this by myself. I didn't realize I was just hungry.
Oh, this, this chicken is so good. I don't even want to put it down. I'm starting to get full. I watch other YouTubers and um, I get so inspired. I watch other channels who's, you know, I go back and watch like their early videos and they started off small like me or smaller than me. And now they're like huge. Like, and there's just such an inspiration. Like, man, there's young people, people young like me, or younger than me, getting to it. And they link up with other YouTubers, and man, I love it. So dope. Now, I got a feeling. Things are about to get good. And they got it gonna really open up my eyes and guide me, direct me, allow me to cross paths with amazing people, people that I can learn from, people that I can grow with. I'm excited. It's the crunch for me. And this hot sauce is just setting it off, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. And this hot sauce in particular is perfect. It's the perfect consistency and it has a perfect amount of uh, vinegar in it. I love it. A lot of y'all know that my absolute favorite YouTuber is Be Loves Life. And she's the one that inspired me years ago to start my YouTube channel. And it's just like, I can't wait till she gets back to doing meet and greets. I'm going to make it my business to be there. Because she just started off. When she started her channel, she was... Just following something that she liked doing. She liked to cook. She liked to eat. And it blew up and she's inspired people like me. And she's kind. And she's always giving back. It's a beautiful thing. And I see, and she's a black woman, young. She's in like, I think her 40s. Young black woman making it happen. She created a whole lane for her family. Starting a legacy, big business. Like, every time I watch her videos, I get motivated. And I have days where. It gets hard because this YouTube thing is not easy. A lot of work goes into it and I have down days where I'm thinking like, you know what? What if I just, what if I just stopped? Like I really love what I do, but this is a lot or I'm not seeing what I want to see right now. And then I watch other YouTubers or I watch Be Loves Life or I get a comment or some feedback from somebody who watches my channel. And I'm reminded. This is bigger than you. It's not about you and what you don't want to do. There are people who watch your videos and just like you get inspired watching other people's videos. There are people who watch your videos and they get inspired by you. They're listening to what you say. It 
there's people that watch my channel that I didn't know watch my channel. People that watch my videos, I had no idea. Until like, I saw your video with the chip or I saw your video with the steak and cheese or whatever. I'm like, what? That's an awesome feeling. So, if you've been feeling like you want to quit, remember why you're doing it. Remember why you got started in the first place. Remember your end goal. Even if you have to change your plan up. Like, how you plan on reaching your goal? Just keep going. Whatever you do, keep going. Keep trying. You got this. I'm talking to myself, too. You got this. We got this, right? Yeah. We don't have a choice. We can't fail. our dreams what we want to be doing the life we want to be living we got too much to lose we didn't come this far to only get this far right we got this you got this you can do it you're gonna finish don't worry about it I don't know how many of y'all that watch my channel are believers but if you are I hope that you're praying about your dreams you're praying about your vision you're praying for strength you're praying for peace of mind I hope God does it for all of y'all Remove the distractions. The dead weight. The things and people in your life that aren't really helping you get where you need to go. Or they're like an unnecessary piece of the puzzle. We got too much to lose. It's time to lock in and get focused. I'm praying for y'all. My, my supporters, my viewers, my subscribers. I appreciate you guys and I'm, I'm praying for everyone. It's easy to complain, but trust and believe me, it can always be worse. I believe in you guys. And I know you guys believe in me too. You see all these bones? Mm -hmm. It's as good as gone. All 10 wings, which I guess is technically 20. If I take into consideration the fact that these were whole wings. But well, I probably was able to do it because I didn't need any fries. Again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. And go ahead and share this video. I will be back with another video really soon. You guys stay blessed. Stay the course. Stay focused. 
stay prayed up. I love y'all. Bye.